Hi, my name's Leo and I'm a boat builder and a sailor. A few years ago I bought a very old and quite famous wooden sailing boat for the price of one dollar and since then I've been rebuilding that boat from the keel up with the help of a lot of amazing people. Now this video is going to cover a few different things but it's going to be mainly focused on the rudder and the trim tab. I'm going to be shaping the rudder, fitting the hardware uh, and constructing the trim tab. A few videos ago you saw the construction of the main rudder itself uh, so if you haven't seen that already I'd recommend going back and watching that first. But in this video the first thing we're going to look at is the big heavy duty bronze hardware that's going to hold the rudder to the boat. So there are a few different ways of attaching a rudder to a boat. Very often that attachment is with bits of hardware called gudgeons and pintles. The pintles have pins and the gudgeons have holes which go over the pins. Tallyho's original rudder hardware was all either already gone or in really bad condition. So we've had new gudgeons and pintles made by Port Townsend Foundry. Uh, now they had some patterns already. Some of those patterns have been modified a little bit and they cast new bronze pieces for us uh, to fit onto the boat and the rudder. Now the hardware isn't sized exactly to the boat so it has to be fit and that means cutting sort of notches into the stern post and into the rudder uh, so that the hardware will sort of notch into it or rabbit into it. Well first off I made, got that. I made this pattern right. off of that, that cheek face yeah. and then what I did is I took width with the old big reach around calipers here to get width on dimension. And then I took this one, because it's smaller and can Whoa, actually guys. fit on the inside. And you got that. And then I got the insides and I did the same thing. And I figured that's how much I need to come down. Then I made that handy dandy jig, nailed it onto the side that of the thing. That plywood, John. Meanwhile, Nick has been working on, amongst other things, the heavy duty door that he was building for Tally Ho's front door, uh, but which we're gonna relocate and use as the engine room door. <laughs> God, it's horrible, dude. <laughs> yeah, you better get used to it. What are you making here, Nick? This is one of the door frames for the engine room door. So this rudder has five pintles and there's five matching gudgeons uh, on the stern post and the transom of the boat, which is what you've been seeing Zeal fitting. And to line those five pins and holes up perfectly is really difficult. They've got to be in exactly a straight line because if they're off, then it won't turn properly. Uh, and so what Zeal has been doing to align them, uh, which is really clever, is he's made some uh, small aluminium discs uh, which fit into the holes in the gudgeons. Uh, with a slot in them uh, and the center of the disc marked and he's run up a very thin piece of string up through all the gudgeons 
uh, and then he's able to put those discs in and see when the string is on the center or off the center. He can tell how much further that gudgeon has to go forwards or aft to get it uh, perfectly centered on that piece of string. Uh, he can do the same thing on the pintles on the actual rudder itself, uh, only because the pins of the pintles can actually be removed uh, from the hardware. And so uh, when he's fitting them to the rudder, uh, they are like the gudgeons in that they just have holes in and then the pins are inserted uh, they're a friction fit very tight fit and there's a set screw which goes in the top uh, to make sure they can't move at all after they're in So right now we're going to check out the construction of the trim tab. Now we have talked previously about trim tabs, I'm not going to go into the mechanics uh, too much right now. Uh, we will be going into that when we actually set up the rudder and the trim tab and the mechanism which drives the trim tab. But essentially a trim tab, it's kind of like a rudder for the rudder. The trim tab is mounted on its own gudgeons and pintles at the trailing edge of the rudder and the self-steering mechanism of the boat will be able to move or pivot the trim tab and when that trim tab pivots the flow of water over it actually causes the entire rudder to pivot the other way. The trim tab in section is a continuation of the tapered shape of the rudder uh, and because it gets down to such a thin shape right at its trailing edge we decided to make it out of something that's light but strong uh, so we're building it out of yellow cedar which is a very light timber uh, and it's going to be sheathed in fiberglass and reinforced with G10 uh, to make sure it's strong right down to its very thin trailing edge. The very next thing that I'm going to do is uh, glue another piece of G10 onto the trailing edge and that's going to help reinforce the trailing edge because the yellow cedar is relatively soft. So I'll have a quarter inch G10 plate, it'll be nice and heavy duty so if this trim tab ever hits anything that'll be able to take the impact a lot better than just the thin layer of glass. It's like you're producing wigs for the Duchess of Desire there. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, uh, the wig making station for the Duchess of Desire. So 
So we're just up at Russell Brown's workshop, which is just up the road from the boatyard. We got Zeal's beautiful trim tab here, uh, and today we're getting it uh, sealed and coated in fiberglass cloth. <laughs> so what was the last word? It's going to be a pretty quick job, and the reason for that is Zeal's put this G10 plate uh, on all the end grain and on all the sharp corners, and what that means is we don't have to wrap the fiberglass around. Uh, it makes it really quick and easy, and it makes all the corners really strong and tough. it went really well. I was kind of nervous because um, Zeal did such a nice job on this thing and I didn't want to f*** it up. <laughs> it's a family show, you can't say that. You mean fudge it up? <laughs> fudge it up. <laughs> what about you Zeal? What do you think of this weird fiberglass stuff? He likes it. I don't know. He does. I'm not he does. sure. I can tell he likes it. <laughs> So the trim tab is looking really nice. It's got two layers of fiberglass cloth uh, protecting it now, as well as G10 over the end grain and on the trailing edge. G10 is a, a reinforced compressed fiberglass material that's very uh, strong, very tough, uh, good for protecting things like this and very inert and stable as well. Now we're going to go back to the bronze hardware on the stern post of the boat. Now it's all been fitted so it's got to be fastened and that's going to be done mostly with silicon bronze rivets uh, which are going to be hammered and formed in place. The gudgeons that are higher up in the transom of the boat are going to be bolted all the way through the stern post. Now this footage was all filmed a few weeks ago so you might just catch a cameo appearance of the Duchess of Desire.
The majority of the gudgeons are fastened on via riveting. Off of the boat, we'll make one rivet head. We'll then cut it to the proper length, heat it up to cherry, drive it home, and use a large weight. So the anvil just adds a large mass of weight so that if I'm hitting the hot end, it's not gonna send the rivet flying back out through the other side. And that is a very effective way of actually pulling two things together as it continues to deform. And you can upset it more and it'll continue to deform and it'll actually make the bolt shorter and pull the gudgeon, uh, the gudgeon tangs tighter together. All that can get ground off flush. On some applications you might just bolt it on, but this is a very traditional way and it's very low profile. Nothing will get hung up on it. So Zeal and I are about to drive the rivets uh, in on the uh, gudgeons here, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be bucking the uh, dumb end of the of the rivet for okay. Zeal. Cool. Yeah. Just another day at the yard here. I'm glad to see that you've got your um, your PPE on your yeah. gloves and <laughs> mm -hmm. your ear protection. How's it? Look squeezed in. Ooh! Nick, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, we are installing a door, Leo. How's that? Okay, here we go. Are you feeling good right there? Feel great. Look at your double bit for the pilot. What? Amazing. Stick around, man. You'll learn a couple things. <laughs> oh. Amazing. Let go. Dude, it's gonna look so good. So a little while ago for our April Fool's video, Nick made a door and uh, it was not actually the front door of the boat. 
you put too much time and effort into it to uh, throw it away for an April Fool's gag. It was, in fact, the door to the engine room. And here it is. Ta-da! Um, we just got the hinges up temporarily, and just got to do a couple shavings, and it'll fit really nice. I was going to ask you about that. It, is it supposed to close? It will close, okay. I promise. That'll be great. In like two hours, okay. it'll close. Oh, that's Mark. Really, that's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. <laughs> So the engine room door looks amazing, it's really nice. Uh, it does have to have a little bit more work done it, so it's gonna come out and go back in a couple of times. Uh, but it's so nice just to see the first door in the boat and uh, see it open and close, uh, it's really cool. The bronze rudd hardware is also looking really great. Fitting that stuff is really fiddly, really difficult and time consuming. Zeal did a great job on it. And it's all riveted now, riveted and bolted, and the rivets are uh, ground off completely flush so that they don't catch anything and so that they're hydrodynamic. Next, Zeal will be doing some final shaping on the rudder and then we'll be hanging it on the boat, which will be really exciting. Now I'd like to extend a really heartfelt thank you to uh, everyone who has supported this project, everyone that's part of this community, uh, everyone that has donated or given their support in different ways. It does make a huge difference. It means we're able to carry on doing what we're doing here and that we're able to carry on making and editing and publishing videos about it. So thank you so much. It makes a huge difference. We really appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Can't wait for my mother to see this. <laughs>